Libraries have changed a lot over the years. Today, you can do a lot more than just check out a book. Here to tell us about some of the library services, programs, and upcoming events is Chesapeake Library Director Amanda Jackson. Welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. Now, you're fairly new in your position as director. What brought you to Chesapeake? It was actually a library. So I was at that time in my career mm -hmm. where it was time to make a change, do something a little bit different, mm -hmm. and I started researching what was out there. And the Chesapeake Library came up. And so I started looking a little deeper into Chesapeake, and I found that Chesapeake users mm -hmm. use their library more overall than anyone else in the state that the library's budget is healthier, that they exhibit, that the customers exhibit mm -hmm. more satisfaction with the library. And then when I was doing some interviews, the amount of people that came to the table to interview a library director really spoke to how many people cared about the library in that community. And I thought, what an amazing community to be a part mm -hmm. of. And so I was lucky enough that they offered me the job and I jumped on it. So I have to ask, do people still use libraries? I know you get that a lot. I do, I get it a lot. And in fact, they do. People use it differently. Mm -hmm. So that's the key. I would say that we all know, people use that, mm -hmm. they ask me that question because technology is changing. Right. So they'll say, oh, well, I can get everything on my phone. Is anybody using the library anymore? And the thing is, yeah, you may be getting mm -hmm. all that information on your phone, but as that technology increases, that technology gap widens. So there are even that many more people who really need the library to bridge that gap. There are that many more students who don't have computers mm -hmm. in their home, whose parents can't afford those smartphones, who use the library every day for resources. And then for those of us who have smartphones mm -hmm. and computers, the library's become a community place. I know as life gets so busy for me, and I know you probably feel mm -hmm. the same way, you're running all the time. And where are those moments that we can make memories with our family, with our kids, mm -hmm. and do something we feel really good about? And things that we can afford to do. Mm -hmm. And that's where the library comes in. So we provide those opportunities, those moments and memories for your children. We provide all kind of fun culture. Mm -hmm. And then we provide that technology for those of us who can't afford it. Now what type of, other than checking out books, and I, and I have to say, talking about technology, I listen to a book in my car all the time. Yes. And on my phone, you know, and, and I check it out from the Chesapeake Public Library. Yes. Because I do, what is it, Hoopla and Overdrive? And Hoopla and Overdrive. Can you talk a little bit about like what electronic services are available for, if you want to check a book out and you don't have to just go to the library and check out a hard copy, you can get other, other Yes, and I love ways that. to do it. Mm -hmm. So usually in that conversation that I'm having with somebody who uses the library, they will say something to the effect of, oh, well, I just use Amazon and I download mm -hmm. my books. And I'm like, well, that's great, but you could save your money. Did you Absolutely. know that you can do that exact same thing mm -hmm. and use the library's resources for free? Mm -hmm. I always like to tell the kids, the library has a magic number, zero, because it's free. So that's awesome. Right. There's thousands of books and movies that you can download, and even magazines now, mm -hmm. that you can download onto your phone just using your library cards. You don't actually come into the building to use our services. As you said, a lot of people love to do the audio when they go mm -hmm. and they're traveling. I love it when right. I'm traveling, especially on a plane. I love an audio sticking mm -hmm. in my ear. And then you can do the magazines that way, save yourself some magazine right. subscriptions, and you don't have to have that expensive Amazon account. And I was gonna say, the best part is it's free, and it's there's a so huge free. selection available. Now, now, what other services are available um, at the library that may be free? Oh my gosh, there's so much available at the library. We have, again, you can do all of those downloads, mm -hmm. but you can also come in and you can get movies. We do video games. Of course, we still got our books, computer access, we have fax, we have notary services, we do classes, we have an awesome series of classes. And then we mm -hmm. do, what I love about Chesapeake, one of the things that I find mm -hmm. the most fun is we do all of these festivals. We do a fantasy, do. we do a Shobacon, we do Merry Market, like all of these. Like the zombie run, the right? The zombie yeah. run, it's incredible. You walk in and there's 2,500 people in the library <laughs> and all these vendors mm -hmm. and it's great, but make sure you bring your wallet to this because you're gonna wanna spend some oh, money. Oh, absolutely, and there, you guys are always have something going on. As it's amazing. Every day, every day. So somebody can always check like, hey, what's going on at the library on your web, you know, on the website, of course, city website. Yes. As well as Facebook page. Yes, as, we've got you know. Facebook and we've got Instagram. And I'll let you in on a secret that I'm very proud of. Our staff's been working really hard to make sure that we update all of our social media. And we actually had more engagement than Chicago's public library. Really? Than lots of the libraries. That's in the quite city. impressive. Only, <laughs> only New York beat us. 
Now, how many library are ranches are there in there Chesapeake? There's seven locations. Mm -hmm. So that's a, that's a lot. Yes, for one and they're city. open seven days a week. So that's there is impressive. no reason not to. There is the time is available for you. Now, how can the library help me with my New Year's goals? That's really fun. So one of the things that I like to do, you know, we always have those goals, and mm -hmm. it's hard to figure out yes, how to stay yes. on track. <laughs> and then the goals can be very mm -hmm. wide, you know. So of course we have books on all the subjects, and we have movies on all the subjects. One of the things that I think is a really well-kept mm -hmm. secret is something called universal class. So if you've got something that you want to do, say it's, uh, I want to learn how to cook Italian mm -hmm. food better. I want to learn more about American History 101. Or I want to increase my resume to make myself more employable. Mm -hmm. Universal Class has hundreds of classes that you can take online at your leisure for free with that's, your library that's amazing. card. Right? It's so cool. That because is you really can do amazing. anything. If you want to be more employable, go be more employable. If you want to learn more about Excel spreadsheets, you can learn more, learn more about that. If you want to do a mixology class, they have that. So if you just want to be the person that always gets to invited know. to the parties, Good to know. <laughs> totally do that. Yeah, it is It is not the library that I grew up with, without a doubt. And, and that's a compliment because who would think that you could go to your library and get something notarized for free. I didn't realize that the library did that until recently. Yes, that's fantastic because there's mm -hmm. so many things that need to be notarized. And where are you going to do that? Right. And who has the time? And it's very difficult, too, because there's so many of the institutions that do have notaries are only open mm -hmm. 9 to 5, and a lot of us are working during that time. Absolutely. So the library has after hours and weekends where you can get that notarized. Now tell me about a few of the events that are coming up. Oh, we've got some great events mm -hmm. for January. I'm very excited. I love board games. So mm -hmm. I'm really, really a big <laughs> board game nerd. I love all kind of games, nerd, everything. Mm -hmm. I will compete with things that shouldn't have competitions oh, no. attached to it. Okay, so we have Puzzle Palooza, which is coming up. So it's all things puzzles and games. It's going to be another one of our festivals okay. where we're going to have hundreds of people come in. It's going to be exciting on a Saturday. We also have the Chinese New Year coming up. So we're going to have yes. the Lunar New Year celebration at Major Hillard, which is going to be really great. And then for those of us whose New Year's resolutions may have something to do with mm -hmm. finances, I know we're always doing that. Right, always right. Now. I've got to have more in savings. I've got to pay off these bills. Um, things like that. We've got Bank on Chesapeake mm -hmm. at, at South Norfolk that's going to be starting up in January. And it's a series of 10 mm -hmm. classes and you have that accountability partner to set your own goals. So it's not anybody telling you what you need to have. Right. It's someone helping you determine what are your financial goals and how can we make you successful in that way. And that is free as it well. It is absolutely mm -hmm. free, which is fantastic. And it's gotten, we've been doing it at Major Hillard already. Mm -hmm. It's got rave reviews. I'm really excited about it coming to South Norfolk. And then we also have our friends at the library book sale. So if your New Year's resolution mm -hmm. is to be more well read, then the best place to do that, of course, the library to get things for mm -hmm. free. But if you're like me and sometimes you have a favorite book you want to take mm -hmm. home or some things that you want to start collecting mm -hmm. in your personal library, the Friends of the Library book sale is always the place to go. Great. And this has been great information. And if folks want to find out more, they can go to the city website or Facebook. Yes, infopeak.org. You have all of this information. Everything. Please come and see us. Right. Definitely will. Thank you so much for coming Thank on. You. We could talk a lot longer, but we... We'll have to have you back. How about yes, that? Yes, please. All right. Thanks so much. We have to take a quick break, but up next, we'll learn some tips on preparing your vehicle for the cold weather. Stay with us.